Regina, what do you think is a helicobat bees? Um, um, I think it's like a helicopter with a camera on the front or something. I think it's the same as Elizabeth. I reckon, uh, what's it called again? Um, a heli thing is, I think it's some kind of disease. Well, we Whoa. think it's spit. Um, um like a, a snake, snake that has, has toothpaste. Like eyes like, coming out. I think it's a jellyfish. That has something like, and sharp teeth. Those. I think it makes sort of like a shouting noise. Like, it has one of those sensors on its nose. What is a helicobacter? Um, well, I think a helicobacter is a mutant fish from hell. And anybody that walks past it, it's blown up. That's what I think a helicobacter is. And this is what my picture looks like. The year 2002 marks the 20th anniversary of the isolation of Helicobacter pylori by Robin Warren and Barry Marshall in Perth, Western Australia. Therefore, 2002 is the ideal time to stage the European Helicobacter pylori meeting here in Perth. It will follow on from the World Congress of Gastroenterology planned for Singapore, which is only four hours flying time from Perth. Doctors Warren and Marshall are keen that you should know more about their part of the world, so they've set about making a video for you. There you go. Did I leave you? No, that's okay, mate. Okay. Come in. Barry, you're early. Came straight over as soon as I got the idea. What idea? <laughs> to do a video for the European Committee. Uh, let's just put this down here. You're looking thirsty. Have a drink. Thanks a lot, Robin. Don't mind if I do. Interesting flavour. Kind of familiar. What is that? I'll let you know later. Let's go and make that video. Okay. It's heavy. Yeah. This is our Australia, a country that's wonderful to live in, wonderful to visit, and in particular a wonderful conference destination. Perth and its people have the enthusiasm, venues, government and industry support to make your Congress memorable and an exciting experience. Here's what we mean. Delegates will enjoy our famous climate with an annual daily average of eight hours of clear blue skies and wonderful sunshine, outdoor cafes, parks, beaches and water sports. These activities are popular with locals and visitors alike. On top of that, we have air clean enough to bottle. Western Australia is bigger than Texas with a population of less than two million. That means there's plenty of room to move with no traffic hassles. The Perth Hotel inventory consists of 3,800 modern hotel rooms in 45 properties, almost all of which are located just a 10 to 15 minute coach ride from the Congress venue. The hotels are within walking distance of each other, or you can take the free inner city transport. Getting to Australia is half the fun, just two movies. <coughs> Three meals. I'll have what she's had. And one stopover. From other destinations, even easier. Special travel packages are available with international carriers to make travelling from your home port or from Singapore as convenient and pleasurable as possible. And when you arrive in Perth, you'll be surprised at the lack of congestion and red tape. By following the World Congress with the European Helicobacter pylori meeting, you have the opportunity to enjoy Asia and Australia. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the exotic sights of the last paradise on Earth. Hi, I'm Norman Moore, Minister for Tourism. I'd like to tell you a little about the people you're going to meet if you decide to come to Australia. We've got lots of familiar faces, and we're also very famous for our sporting and outdoor lifestyle. 
When we play football, we don't mess around with accessories either. They just get in the way. Australia also has a fantastic climate, which means most of us live near the beach. Australia is a multicultural success story with almost every nationality represented. We live in a politically stable and friendly society and reward for effort is the order of the day. So I hope to see you all in the year 2002. In the meantime, I'll look after the place until you get here. While we proudly present Perth as the host city with all its excitement and attraction, we also want you to see the rest of our great country while you're here. Australia is an island continent over 50 million years old. The diversity of wildlife and flora and its vastness, huge empty spaces, are amongst its most fascinating features. There are few places in the world where you can enjoy such an unspoiled landscape, free from pollution and degradation, where visitors can experience a wealth of unparalleled natural beauty. Delegates to the European Helicobacter pylori meeting in Perth in 2002 will be enchanted by their Australian experience. Hello, this is Barry Marshall speaking to you from Perth. It's the middle of winter here now, but even today you can see what a wonderful climate we have. I realise that it seems an incredible leap to ask the European Helicobacter meeting to move to Perth for its 2002 conference. On the other hand, Perth is a modern city with a booming economy and every modern convenience. If travelling takes a little longer, that time will be more than made up by the time you save with reduced travel time once you arrive at the conference. Although the venue is one consideration, I know that your primary concern is the quality of the scientific presentations. With such an early start, I'm certain that we will attract the best international speakers and we will be able to sponsor many young investigators to attend. I hope you'll all agree that the European Helicobacter meeting will be a wonderful way to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the isolation of H. pylori in Perth. So, there you have it. A city that meets all your requirements with people who are enthusiastic and committed to providing you with a professional conference that is complete in every aspect. We hope to see you in Perth in 2002. Here's that project I was telling you about, Barry. Would you like to help me by being a co-author? Well, certainly, Robin, but it looks like the paper's already finished. What should I do to help? That's easy. Turn up for your endoscopy tomorrow. What? Jojo, now what do you think is a helicobacter? They're really small and you can only see them with a telescope. Magnifying glass to the big microscope. And those things that to see it. Well, it's this little germ that lives inside your body and it gives you a tummy ache and it gives you bacteria and, it's, and there's lots of little um, helicobacters inside your body and they spray out lots of poison into you and they, and they make you sick and the best part about that is because you don't have to go to Scotland.